if it's for a vacation. It is stressful. And, uh, you know, I appreciate my wife. I really do appreciate my wife. And uh, getting ready for this trip that we're taking, well, makes me appreciate her even more because uh, she had to go. She had to go to New York City. And uh, consequently, I'm, well, I'm going to be doing the packing and loading the car up and everything. And uh, when we travel, uh, especially if we go away for a week, we end up going to our timeshare. And we bring a lot of stuff with us. We're packed. We got all sorts of cooking supplies, clothes, all sorts of stuff to, well, stuff to make us happy, games, liquor, uh, champagne, other things. And uh, so she left me with a list, and I got to pack everything up. And I just realized, that's a shitload of work. And most of the time, she'd been doing it all by herself. And uh, I would try to help out a little bit, but it ends up that, you know, she would end up doing a lot of it by herself. And I really appreciate it now, even more so, because, uh, yeah, I'm just looking at it. I'm kind of going like, holy crap, how long is this going to take me? Three, four hours? It's going to take me a while because we, uh, we're also doing what we call working vacations, where we uh, each take two screens because we work sometimes in the morning or in the afternoon or part of the day, and then we take the rest of the time off. So these are kind of working vacations, so we need our screens with us which is a whole bunch of stuff to pack with the wires and everything else and the computers and the, <coughs> the hubs and all that stuff. So <coughs> how do you handle the stress of packing and traveling, even if it's for a vacation? That's right, even if it's for a vacation. Remember, it's all about creating a kick-ass life for yourself and those that you love.